Hello everyone, this is Jay Foreman here to provide you with an advanced tutorial on Task Force Arma 3 Radio, also known as TFAR. Now, the main thing about the radios is that they add a lot of realism to the game, make it pretty fun. They're also a little confusing when you really get into the advanced stuff about it, so I'm going to try to teach you guys some advanced tips on how to use two of the most important radios in Task Force Radio, which is the ANPRC-152 and the RT-1523G. Now, the ANPRC-152, which I'm just going to call the 152 because it's a lot shorter, is a short-range radio that most people are going to be using on the ground in fire teams to communicate amongst each other. It's a short-range radio, essentially. The RT is a very long-range radio that is going to be used exclusively by higher command types, RTOs, people who need to talk to assets that are far away, like artillery, jets, things like that. So, I'm going to start with the most important one, which is the one that pretty much everyone's going to need to know how to use, which is the 152. So, the first thing you got to know is how to actually access your radio. You do that by pressing Control P. Now, I can see the 152 right here. So, on the screen, you have your channels on the left, and you have what the actual channel is. And by using the preset buttons, you can cycle through your 10 available channels. So, to change the channels, you can hit clear frequency, and then you simply use the keys on your keyboard to type in whatever channel you want. The options range from 30 all the way up to 152, which is why it's called the 152. So, once you have your channel typed in, you press enter, and there you go. Now your channel is set. You can hit escape to go back into the game, put down your gun, and you hold down caps lock to transmit on the channel that you're set on. And you can see down in the lower right hand corner, it shows me I'm using my 152, I'm transmitting on my first channel, and the frequency of that channel is 30.1. So, and when you let off, it tells you that you've done transmitted, which is pretty nice. So you hold Control P again, bring it back up. Now, sometimes you're going to want to operate on multiple channels, multiple fire teams, multiple squads. It's very nice. So you can set preset up to go to your second channel, and you can change this using the same method, or as I just did, instead of hitting clear frequency, you can actually just highlight the numbers with your mouse, which is quite nice. Type in what you want, hit enter to set the channel, and there you go. If I leave the radio right now, it says channel 2 and I'm going to be on channel 2 so you see when I transmit now I'm on channel 2 frequency 40.1 and one of the good tips is that you can rapidly switch between your channels using your numpad assuming you have a numpad on your keyboard which I hope you do if you're playing Arma so if I go back to my radio make a third channel let's do 50.1 so we put going in tens enter escape I can just hit 1 on my numpad to go to 30.1, 2 on my numpad, 40.1, 3 on my numpad to 50.1. Pretty nifty. However, what if you want to listen to two channels at the same time? That would be pretty handy, especially if you're considering the role of a fire team leader where you have to listen to your squad mates, but you also have to communicate with your higher ups so you know where you need to move your guys and what you need to do. Luckily, with Task Force Radio, you can do that. So. Let's say I want to use 30.1 as my primary channel. Right now it's set in channel 1, that's great. But I can go up one preset to channel 2, which I've set as 40.1, right? But then I can hit the left arrow key, which if you hold your mouse over it, you can see it says set additional channel. Hit it right there, and now it says A2, which stands for additional channel. Now I can hit enter to set it, and then go back to my channel 1. Now, when I go back to my channel 1, that means that my primary channel is back to 30.1. When I hold down caps lock, I will be transmitting on channel 30.1. However, now that I've set this alternative frequency, I can use the T key to transmit on my alternate frequency. So you can see now that I'm holding down the T key, I'm transmitting on channel 40.1. And the nifty thing is that I will also hear channel 40.1 in addition to channel 30.1 which means I can get two sources of audio from two different frequencies, which is very good for things like fire team leaders and squad leaders. So, 
after that, what else can you do with the 152? You know, because one of the things that's really cool about it is that if you have multiple channels, sometimes that gets confusing. Well, what you can actually do is use the button all the way in the lower, lower left, the zero key with little brackets or whatnot. If you hold over, it says stereo settings. You can actually click this button to change how the sound comes out of your headphones. So right now, it's set so that channel 1, 30.1, will come out of both my left and my right ear, just like it would normally. But if I press it, I can have it come out the left only, I can have it come out the right only, and then back to both. And you just cycle through them. So, perhaps if I wanted to, I could have my primary channel come out of my left ear, and then I could go up to my alternate channel and have that come out my right ear, just like that. And then that way, without even checking or memorizing who's on what channel, you can know that whatever's coming out your left is one channel, and whatever comes out your right is another channel. It's pretty nifty. And again, you can use your numpad to cycle through any channel that you want. All right, now what about your long range radio? You can't actually open up your long range radio with the same button that you did for your 152, because otherwise you couldn't carry both of them at the same time. So what you do is instead of hitting Control P, you actually hit Alt P, and that brings up your long range radio. You can see this giant box that is very clearly some sort of long range radio. Now, to cycle through the channels, instead of having an up and down switch or a left and right switch or anything like that, you actually have to use the pad that's given to you on the radio. So right now I'm on channel 1, I click on 2, channel 2, 3, channel 3, 4, and so on and so forth. Now, changing channels is actually pretty much the same, you just have different buttons. So I go to channel 1, I hit clear, now I type in whatever frequency I want, I've already been using the other ones, so let's do 60.1. To set it, I hit frequency, set the frequency, and there I go, channel 1 is 60.1 now. Go to channel 2. I can make it 70.1, set it, there you go, pretty easy. Now to set an alternate channel, you just go down one button, set additional channel. So I want channel 2, my 70.1, to be my additional channel. Click it, changes the S to an A, H to an A, whatever. Now this, this is set as the alternate channel on my long range radio. So I want to go back to channel 1, because that's my primary channel. I, I want channel 2 to be my alternate, so I go back to channel 1, set it to channel 1. And I exit out. Now to transmit on this radio, you can't use the same button. You can't just use caps lock like you did for the 152 either. So instead, you have to hit control caps lock. And now you can see that I'm transmitting on my first channel on my long range radio on frequency 60.1. Now to transmit on the alternate, you can't hit T either, just like you did for the 152. There's a different button for it, and that button happens to be Y. And so if you hold down Y, now you can see I'm transmitting on my additional channel, number 2, frequency 70.1. And so now, with all of this knowledge, you have the capability to carry two radios and listen to four channels at the same time and actively use those four channels as well. You can hold down Caps Lock to transmit on your first channel, your primary channel on your 152. You can hold T to transmit on your secondary channel on your 152. You can hold Control Cabs Lock to transmit on your primary channel on your long range radio, the 3G. And then you can hold down Y to transmit on your alternate channel on your long range radio, the 2, the 2 3G. So, with all of this, you should be able to achieve very good comms with your teams, help each other out during operations get things done efficiently, and have more fun playing Arma. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something. The whole reason I made it is because it's pretty confusing. It's pretty hard for me too. And I uh, hope this helps everyone out. And thanks for watching, guys.